on Medical Frontiers will bring you a two-part series on the superfoods enjoyed by the elderly here in Shiga that keep them healthy, vibrant and youthful. And today in the first episode, we'll focus on the eating habits of the people of Lake Biwa. So join me as we go in search of the local superfoods. Shiga Prefecture is located next to Kyoto in Western Japan. It boasts one of the highest life expectancies in Japan, with males ranking number one and females ranking fourth, according to the latest government survey. Shiga's Lake Biwa, which is the largest one in Japan, plays a major role in the local diet. The lake formed about four million years ago, and since ancient times, the people of Shiga have developed a unique food culture, which revolves around the lake. Three kinds of fish found only in Lake Biwa came to my attention as superfoods that contribute to the longevity of the locals. To find out how these fish are incorporated into the diet, I headed to an island on Lake Biwa called Okishima Island. Okishima is one of the few populated lake islands in the world. It's home to less than 300 people. They have an average age of over 63, and most of them are fishermen. Yoshihisa has been a fisherman for over 55 years. やっぱりビワコしか取れないでしょうか。はい、そうです。これはもうビワコ固有種で、昔から何魚。ビワコで Lake Biwa is home to 16 indigenous species. Fishing season for one of them, the ko ayu or sweet fish, peaks from spring to early summer. Yoshihisa catches ko ayu in a traditional way that's unique to the island. He pulls the net with the ko ayu out of the water and raises it to a height of over five meters. Then he and his wife shake it together until the fish fall out onto the deck. To find out how the islanders cook the fish, I went to visit a woman who's very knowledgeable about the local cuisine. Yukiko Ogawa is a member of the women's department of a local fishery cooperative. Ko Ayu is about 10 centimeters long and has soft scales. People in the region cook it in soy sauce and sugar, or enjoy it as tempura. They eat the entire fish. Tabe style, 
食べないし食べないの、うん、そんなちっちゃくてもですかそうそう,そう食べないじゃあ頭から食べる、うん、はい、はい、大丈夫よ絶対大丈夫<笑>お醤油持ったがってくるあったんかお醤油とかお醤油もあったらそうよ completely different taste It's got a tiny little bit of bitterness. <laughs> Now, it's so interesting to see when they eat the fish, which is aji, that they eat the whole fish、um, from the, you know, the head of the fish right to the tail. So they eat the whole thing, including the bones, which is incredibly high in calcium. How do you think about the bones? The bones are beautiful. <laughs> the next superfood we explored was nigorobuna, a type of carp. The fish is fermented to create funazushi. It's one of Shiga's most well known dishes. The islanders make funazushi every year, and I had a go at one of the steps of the long process. 手のひらにお魚を左側のお手手で手お魚持ってくださいここを開けて,開けてご飯を詰めてくださいご飯をそうそうそう、うん、We stuffed steam rice into the gills and mouth of the nigorobuna which has been pickled in salt for three months 何時間かかります毎年ちょっと仕掛けたら早いですけどねテクニックが良ければ早いと思います。す私がちょっと遅すぎるじゃないですか。The fish is placed in a wooden bucket and covered with a layer of rice. This is repeated to create several layers. A weight is placed on top and it's left to ferment for six months. This is the resulting funazushi. Recent studies suggest that this fish can help boost the body's immune system. Utsunomiya University professor Yukihito Kabuyama is studying a new lactic acid bacterium found in Funazushi. It's called FS1. I've discovered that FS1 has the effect of boosting so called natural killer cells. These are cells that strengthen the body's immunity and help it to fend off viral and bacterial infections. Natural killer cells are a type of immune cell present in the human body. They attack bacteria and viruses that enter the body. As well as cancer cells. Kabuyama administered FS1 to mice to measure its effect on natural killer cells. He gave them FS1 for four weeks and extracted their natural killer cells. He then exposed these cells to other cells made to mimic viruses. The natural killer cells taken from the mice given FS1 killed about twice as many model viruses as the control group. This shows that FS1 boosted the power of the natural killer cells. Other lactic bacteria, including Lactobacillus paracasei, Shirota, and Labra, are also known to activate natural killer cells. But Kabuyama's experiment found that FS1 boosted their activities at a higher rate. You can lower your risk of catching infectious diseases, such as a cold or flu, by eating funazushi, like a good preventive medicine. Funazushi is extremely healthy, but it has a distinct smell and taste typical of fermented fish. ブラジシはちょっと気になります。ちょっと初体験ですか？そうなんです。でも大丈夫。チャレンジします。チャレンジやから。チャレンジはします。大丈夫？多少はあるかもしれない。多少の酸味は。匂いは ？Smells really sour. Actually, it does not have a great smell. I have to say, it's quite sour. 食べたことない。
これ食べたらおしゃれだと思って<笑>でもちょっとチーズな酸味もあるしちょっと酸っぱいしなんだけどちょっとやっぱりチーズな面白い The locals like to put funazushi on hot steam rice and pour hot water over it うんまたチーズの小さもありますけどもこっちの方が絶対食べやすいですよすこっちの方が It has an incredibly unique taste. <laughs> で、冬は食べる、冬の方が食べる。冬,冬の方が冬の方がお茶漬けですね、本当。風邪ひいた時とかですね。風邪ひいた時とかですね。もう毎日毎日料理行って、眠たいし疲れたなって言えば、今夜お父さん船寿司切ろうか言うて。いっぱい乗せて、そしてお醤油を散らして、ま<笑>たお茶漬けでガサガサっと食べるときがある。それがものすごく美味しい。ちょっと今日食べた。ぽくなる。頭が熱い。そうでしょ。The last superfood we explored is Biwa trout, which is often called the jewel of Lake Biwa. That's because it has a beautiful pink color like salmon, and it belongs to the same family. The color comes from a natural pigment called astaxanthin. Japanese researchers have scientifically confirmed its health benefits. Aichi Gakuen University professor Toshihiko Osawa is interested in the benefits of astaxanthin on blood vessels. Astaxanthin has attracted attention because of its ability to maintain the function of blood vessels. We believe it's extremely effective at preventing osteosclerosis, or hardening of the artery walls, and high blood pressure, as well as the problems they cause in the brain, like oxidative damage. Reactive oxygen species, or ROS, are one of the causes of various problems that occur in the blood vessels. Smoking, stress, obesity, and other factors can cause ROS levels to rise excessively in the blood. When that happens, the ROS begin attacking blood vessel cells. The cells weaken and substances such as bad cholesterol, modified by ROS, starts to accumulate between them. If plaque builds up, arterial sclerosis can occur. But when astaxanthin gets into the body and enters the bloodstream, it begins to reduce the excessive levels of ROS. Researchers believe that this leads to a drop in attacks by ROS on blood vessels, keeping the blood vessels healthy. A Japanese health food maker studied the effects of astaxanthin on blood vessels using mice. Researchers prepared two groups of mice and gave astaxanthin to one group. They then generated a large amount of ROS in the brains of both groups of mice. On the left are the brains of the mice given astaxanthin, and on the right are those of the mice not given any. The white sections show dead brain cells. They were unable to get oxygen due to arterial sclerosis. The white areas were smaller in the mice given astaxanthin. Researchers believe the astaxanthin protected blood vessels and reduced damage. Data shows that men in Shiga Prefecture have the country's lowest mortality rate from cerebrovascular disease, though it's not known if this is related to their consumption of astaxanthin. Did you know that in daily life, it's not easy to get astaxanthin from food? The shells of shrimps and crabs contain high levels of it, but people don't usually eat them. I think the biwa trout is a very good source of astaxanthin. I highly recommend it. So, how does the biwa trout taste, Erica? ね、このお腹のところが美味しいんちゃう。本当バターみたいに溶けるし、すっごい美味しい。入れたら。
ぐらいなんかも美味しいしね。そうそうそう<笑>煮付けとかよくやります。家庭でも。塩焼き、うん。そう塩焼き、塩焼きは絶対美味しいと思います。ね、シンプル。皆さんにとって本当に琵琶湖という存在はどういった存在でしょうか。琵琶湖は私たちにとって生活の一部でもあるし命の次ですね、うん、なんか琵琶湖を見てると安心するっていうかやっぱ心の拠り所っていうかそんな感じです琵琶湖に惹かれて沖島にずっと住んでるのかなっていう感じがあります<笑>どういった健康状態に大体みんないらっしゃるんでしょうかほとんど自分のことが自分でできて好きな野菜を育てたり漁に行かれたり生き生きとされてますやっぱ感染とかインフルエンザとかど,どうでしょうか結構シーズンになるとやっぱりかかる方たくさんいらっしゃるんですけどもう翌日には元気になって仕事行きたいわっていうおっしゃる方たくさんいらっしゃいます二、二、三、四。Nearly t w seniors attend a weekly exercise session on the island. These gatherings not only help them stay healthy, but also keep them connected with others in the community. これは多分もう日本全体の素晴らしい手本に。なる,なると思います。はい。She taught me a wonderful word that's been used among islanders for a very long time. えっとこの島に友闇っていう言葉を。友闇？友闇。友闇。はい。でその意味は友にやむと書くんですけども、良いことも悪いこともわしら一緒やなっていう意味なんですよ。それはあのこの琵琶湖で皆さんがあの。まあ、命をまあ育んできたっていう歴史があってそれは健康にあのすごくこうつながっているしあの生まれた時も死ぬ時もこの島で普通にやってくるものっていうことを静かに受け止めておられるっていうのもあの日々の生活につながっているとは思います。素晴らしい、はい、Now. We'll show you some dishes made with superfoods from Lake Biwa. For this part of the program, we're going to be focusing on the specialities of Lake Biwa. And joined with me today is the lovely Yuji and Marcy. And Yuji is a chef, and Marcy, and they both have a business making soy ice cream. So thank you so much thank for your time today. Yuji worked as a chef at a Japanese restaurant in Scotland. There he met Marcy, who's from Poland, and they got married. They moved to Shiga two years ago. Today uh, we are going to focus on the, this uh, uh, fish and uh, shrimp from uh, Biwa. The first dish maximizes the health benefits of Biwa trout, a superfood high in astaxanthin. This is the point that, that this is a fresh dish. So I wanted, to, I wanted it to be very colorful. So first is the preparation of the rice paper. You can just use the tap water okay. and wet it. Yeah. And I put it on the chopping board. 
I think it's a very good combination with the rice paper mm. because obviously when you wet the rice paper, it, it becomes transparent. So when you roll everything inside, it becomes very co colorful and beautiful. When you look at it, you just want to eat it straight away. So this is the <laughs> biwa trout. Besides astaxanthin, biwa trout also contains substances that improve blood flow. I'm gonna use some fresh vegetable also because the uh, uh, biwa trout contains a lot of EPA and DHA. Um, EPA and DHA is not very good with heat, so I really wanted to use it with uh, eat it with fresh as a fresh. So I'm gonna put the zest of okay. lemon. The salmon trout, the no, biwa trout, also contains the astaxanthin, and uh, you should. It's better to take it with the vitamin C. Vitamin C makes the effects of astaxanthin last longer. Rolling part. So it's like rolling a paper, no? Yeah. So you like origami? I can't do no. origami. <laughs> Listen, if I can't do origami, then I definitely can't do this. The rice paper is folded carefully over the ingredients. The trout, the cucumber, and the avocado so beautifully, and it's so colorful. Next is a bold recipe, risotto made with funazushi. This fish is quite smelly because of the fermentation, so there are quite a lot of people uh, cannot eat it. So today I'm going to uh, arrange it to a creamy risotto. Masi, when you first came to Japan and tried funazushi, what was your first impression? <laughs> I liked it. You did? <laughs> <The> first <laughs> like time? It, yeah. Oh my gosh. I did like did you it. Have, do you have something similar or fermented yes, at home in Poland? Yes, yes, or? it is, it is. It is not fermented, it's done in a certain way, um, but it's a fish as well, and uh, we, we eat it very often. I think for Easter, we eat it mostly okay. for Easter, but it was a familiar taste. It wasn't okay. something that... Let's try it. Let's start it. So, uh, first, uh, you cook the onion and the garlic on a frying pan with the olive oil. When they become fragrant, add butter, asparagus, and Parmesan cheese. Parmesan? You said, did you come up with this recipe yourself, thinking you were thinking maybe it, of different ways to explore funazushi without <laughs> yes. making it? Yeah, the, I remember once the, uh, some French chef came to Siga and the, when he tried the uh, funazushi first time, he said the uh, fromage, so cheese. So that's why I, I started thinking that, okay, so maybe we can use funazushi as a cheese, you know? Put finely chopped funazushi into the pan. Pour in the milk. When it starts simmering, mix in the cooked rice. Add salt and pepper to taste, and it's ready to eat. I cannot smell at all. It, for me, it's very much. Will this encourage Erika to eat funazushi? The last dish uses sujiebi, a small shrimp found in Lake Biwa. Today's last recipe is uh, gonna use the freshwater plum shrimp. The small ones from Lake Biwa, right? Yes, this shrimp actually has got the amazing shrimp flavor. So I'm gonna deep fry this one. Okay, great. First, deep fry the shrimp for about 20 seconds. Take them out and put them on a paper towel to soak up the excess oil. Combine the avocado, lime, dill, olive oil, and garlic. Add the fried shrimp and mix thoroughly. Spread some pineapple sauce on a plate and put chopped pineapples and the avocado shrimp mixture on it. Garnish it with fresh dill, and it's done. I mean, it looks absolutely delicious, but the smells, the aroma. I cannot wait to try all of these dishes. 
Wow, it's really quite minty, mm -hmm. the dill. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Strong taste. Wow, that's great. They're still crispy. Oh, they're, they're, they're still crispy. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a very delicate flavour. Mm -hmm. The mint kicks in. Mm -hmm. And I love it with the crispy prawns. Mm -hmm. This is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's great. <laughs> Next up is the spring rolls with biwa trout. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. It's but the quite nice. avocado with the trout, the biwa trout, is mm. such a great combination. Mm, thank you. I'm realizing how easy it is to it make. Is easy, it is. Mm. You just need to. You just need mm. a little bit of practice with rolling the rice paper, and then it's done. <gasps> but this is just mm. such a the flavor combinations. What you've, you know, the ingredients you chose, mm. how you've made it is just. The last dish is the risotto with funazushi. Wow. Does this really have funazushi in it? Yes, yes. You can't You've taste it. it. <laughs> I know, but what's amazing is maybe you took it. It's amazing. You cannot. It's very, very creamy. It's um, tastes like a normal Parmesan risotto. Mm, mm. Fabulous. It's captured the flavors and then transformed it mm. to a gorgonzola. Mm -hmm. We are happy that you like it. <laughs> mm. I could eat this funazushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm happy. How does it make you feel, I guess, as a chef, being able to use the ingredients which are from Shigo and use them creatively? I was so uh, happy that actually can have the, this kind of opportunity to use the, this fresh, very fresh ingredients to make something different yeah. from uh, with the, my imagination. And uh, I think it's uh, tasty as well. Yeah. So I'm very happy. I think uh, having, having the nature close by having delicious food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you both so much. You have to be doing something, I think, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. The locals of Okushima Island are the perfect example of people truly enjoying a sustainable lifestyle and living in harmony with the natural surroundings and eating seasonally with what's available naturally. And you can see this reflected in their incredible health and longevity and their strong sense of community. And there are many lessons that we can all perhaps learn from the people of Lake Biwa.